Michael James, the opening game against Edinburgh City in their League One campaign today. How do you feel the lads have done in pre-season so far? Yeah, the lads have been brilliant in um, pre-season. Uh, we're looking forward to the, the real action now. Um, everybody's come back really, really fit um, and the pre-season games have been brilliant. Yeah. So Darren, opening game against Edinburgh City today, how do you feel the lads have done in pre-season in the League Cup so far? Great, um, been a great cup section, uh, a lot of people probably didn't think we'd finish where we did and, and do as well as we did but we had a kind of inner confidence that we could go and do well, we've got a great bunch of boys, great squad, the new additions have come in, they've settled in very quickly, um, so it's been a great league cup section uh, and again I think it's the first time we've ever qualified so that's a massive a massive thing and a massive boost as well, kind of kicking on from last season. Um, and again, to, to go and beat St Johnson the way we did and four 0 away from home was was uh, more than we kind of dreamed of. But look, it was a great performance. That's we've spoke about that with the guys after the game. We spoke about it tonight with training and stuff, and it's, it's put to bed. But now <coughs> we've got the draw against Aberdeen. Brilliant. We can look forward to that. But first and foremost, we now concentrate on the league. Uh, Edinburgh's going to be a hard game. They've been they've been here last year as well, so they kind of know the league inside out. They've got some good players that we can kind of watch out for. But from our point of view, we want to kind of kick on um, and, and kind of perform the way we did at the end of last season, but also the way we have in the league cup. So of course you mentioned the league cup draw there against Aberdeen Friday night football coming to fourth bank. How much are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, it'd be great. It's going to be great for the fans. Uh, obviously. Unfortunately, they kind of get moved to the Friday. Aberdeen had the uh, the European game, and again we we couldn't play here on the Saturday, so we it was either going to be the Sunday or the Friday. We kind of went for the Friday to try and accommodate them, um, and again hopefully, again hopefully do well for, for for the Scottish football for themselves and and kick on and do well in Europe. But look, it's, it's Friday night game, so hopefully we get a good turnout. Uh, I think one of the other stands is hopefully going to be open um, to get more kind of fans in, and hopefully I'm expecting a full house. Hopefully the hospitality will be sold out as well. So looking forward to that one again. Another test for the guys to to kind of go up against a kind of full time team and um, see if we can get, do a wee bit better than we did against them last year. Yeah and of course such a high of last season winning the league, what are your expectations coming into league one for this year? I think it's to finish as high as possible, um, we'll go and I, I, personally I've kind of did it the last few teams I've been at, it's just kind of just do it in quarters, uh, if we can kind of get, is it 12, I think it's 12 or 13, 14 points a quarter, uh, it kind of puts you in, in a place to, to get into the kind of playoffs, so that's that's the kind of target for me, that's the targets I'll be putting to the guys, yeah it's going to be a lot harder, you've got four full time teams uh, in the league this year and again I've got a few part time teams who have, again, they've, got, they've got good budgets and they've been here for a while and they, they kind of know the league inside out so it's going to be a, a hard, hard task but at the same time we feel we've got a, a good enough squad and maybe hopefully add one more uh, body and we get another loan in, in through the door so for, for that side of things maybe we need that extra body anyway it's, we've got, we're running 18 now so uh, an extra one or two we've got the young boys there as well they're learning and all the time they've been playing a lot in the parts in, the, in pre-season but Look, yes, it's been a great experience for everybody, um, <coughs> so hopefully everyone will look to kind of kick on and, and start the season with three points. Obviously we're going to yeah, a league with four full-time teams and the other teams in the division are really, really good as well, so we just need to kind of hopefully just stay in the division, um, try and finish as high as possible, but we'll, we'll, we'll be ready for um, when Saturday comes. Yeah. yeah, and of course three new signings in through the door, how do you feel they've settled into the squad now after a full pre-season? Yeah, they got, I mean, the guys settled in straight away. I mean, they kind of know each other. Most of the guys kind of know each other from playing against each other, etc. During the years, but uh, obviously we knew Big Mark from last season. He did well, he impressed, and then we got him signed up at the end of the season. Uh, Hilson and obviously Louis are, are ones that we kind of know about, and, and ones that we've kind of looked at over the seasons. And, and once they came available, it was a, for me it was a kind of no-brainer. They've come in, they've done very well. They've scored goals, they've set up goals, and in general about the place, they're, they're, they're good. Yeah, and of course Edinburgh City at fourth bank today. What do you expect from them? Yeah, well, again, it's, it's, it's going to be a hard game. Uh, as I said earlier on, they've got a few good players. Uh, I know them, I've, I've watched them against, I've seen them against Kelty, James has seen them, uh, the scouts have had a look at them. So, again, leaving no stone unturned, we want to go and perform if we can play the way we have, have the same energy, have the same fitness levels. Um, chances created as well in, in the League Cup games and in pre season has been brilliant. So, we need to kind of take all that, get that together, and then, again, along with the defending, the defending has been brilliant. Um, Generally, set pieces for and against has been very, very good. Um, and again, even, even in counter attack, we're managing to kind of stop, stop the play, break the play up. Um, and that's certainly what uh, Edinburgh have got in their locker. Um, we know, again, I haven't seen them. Uh, we know kind of how they play, and again, the, the players will be a uh, could cause us problems. So, James, of course, as well, 1,500 fans in full bank towards the end of last season. What's your message to all the fans ahead of today's game? Yeah, the fans came out in numbers last year and hopefully they can do the same again this season. Um, they were brilliant, even the young fans came out in their numbers last year as well, created an atmosphere and um, the boys really, really enjoyed it. So hopefully 
we do it again this season because we'll need them in an obviously a division above um, and hopefully we can uh, can I kick on this season. Yeah, and of course towards the end of last season we're getting over 1,500 fans in at Fourth Bank. What are your message to the fans ahead of today's game? Hopefully they'll come out and back us again. Um, and the way they do that is by us doing well on the pitch and winning games and scoring goals and, and being easy on the eye. So uh, hopefully we'll get a big turnout for Flag Day. Um, and again, it's, if we can get that, the kind of figures, then that would be amazing. It, it helps the club and it helps us as well for the budget. So from that side of things. But no, hopefully they'll come out and again they like to enjoy themselves and, and enjoy the football. Excellent, Darren. Thanks a lot. Thank you.